Hello everyone, it's Jamie Black. I'm going to do a tarot reading for you for the week of March 29th. And I'm going to do something fun. I'm going to use these big giant cards here. Um, they basically said they wanted to be used, so here we go. So, full moon this past Sunday, which is today, which is right now. So, I do the readings after my live podcast interviews for the Silver Lake Priestess podcast. And then I do them on, on I pull them on Sunday night, and they are meant for the following but just so that you know that I am actually pulling them on Sunday night, it could sometimes matter, right? But anyway, so I got these big giant cards, so we're gonna see um, if these are, are helpful. So, here we go. There was no reading last week. Um, just due to there not being time for it. So, sorry to leave you hanging as far as that is concerned, but here we are in a totally different energy than we were dealing with last week. So we're starting out with the Justice card. So the full moon is actually in Libra. And um, because the sun is in Aries, so the moon is always gonna be full in the sign opposite the sun. And so justice, this card is ruled by Libra. And this full moon is about balance because Libra is about balance. And so the full moon is, um, it does depend on all of the other planets that it's making aspects to in your chart, in the general astrology. But when we talk about Libra, um, some of the aspects of Libra are harmony, balance, um, it's ruled by Venus. And so, I don't know about you, but the energy that has been going on lately, where we've been in Aries season, all of this fire, all of this, um, sometimes too much energy, a lot of maybe anger, a lot of frustration, and that's what happens when there's just like a lot of energy, um, which is what we get in Aries. And um, to the point where this, full moon I feel like it just kind of like blew out the energy it was just like too much I personally have been so exhausted this past week I've been exhausted all this Sunday and all this Saturday so um I was really looking forward to this full moon for balance and so anyway this is what we're getting justice is the balance card when we look at justice we look at things being fair for you balanced for you from your perspective Things are feeling balanced. So then we've got the Wheel of Fortune. And we have the Four of Cups. So Wheel of Fortune, you know, I, I think about this card as the wheel referring to your life and your life journey and your life path. And so when we see this right side up, I see that the wheel is turning things are moving forward. This is also, this card is a great omen. It talks about fortune, it talks about good health. Of course, it has to do with money. Anytime we look at this card, it can just, it's good. Good things are coming, all the other things that they're talking about in, um, in connection with this card. So things are balanced for you. Things are looking good. The wheel is turning in a positive direction. And then we have this four of cups. So you know, this can be looked at like abundance because look, the universe is offering you more, but you're deciding about it really. Do you want more? And so that's always what I see with this card. And so really, um, what is the stance that you're taking in being risk and being exposed to more of something? So then the question is really like, is this something that you want? Is this something that is good for you? Are you ready for this? The universe is offering it to you. So it's time for you to decide if you want this or not. Um, 
we keep pulling this card here. So this is um, being at the end of a, a cycle in the way that you have put forth like all the effort that you could and you still are there. You still are at that point where you have put so much effort forward and the amount of effort and energy that you have been required to put forth for this, it's just, it's, it's at an end. It doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that the cycle is over in the way that, that, that something is dying. It's just that they're just acknowledging all the energy that you put forth and it's um, you're just kind of at the end of having to put so much energy forward. And we see the Seven of Swords and we see the world. So these are interesting cards to see together. This is expansion, this is contraction, but where this is moving forward, this is birth, this is rebirth. So, and if we think about the womb, there's gonna be contraction before we move out of it. And so it's almost like things are moving forward and you're about ready to be rebirth into a new cycle. But what is this Seven of Swords reversed? Seven of Swords, <clears throat> I'll just let you look at it. Seven of Swords, when we're talking about someone else and someone else is coming up in your reading and there's a message for you about this other person and get the Seven of Swords is never good. This card is like lying, cheating, stealing. Look at this guy. He's gathering up all the swords when no one else is looking and he looks like he's sneaking off. So in my experience with this card um, is also, if we think about the, the swords have to do with communication, they have to do with thoughts, words, information, communication, information through communication. So this card can be about withholding information. When this card is about you, and this is in the center of this reading, we haven't gotten all the information yet because we haven't read all the cards yet, but this card is at the center of the reading. So this, there is something going on with this. When this card is about you personally, it is nodding to the fact that you are keeping all of the information to yourself. You're not being brave and courageous and outright with it and communicating what it is that you need to communicate. Whether you want to or not is a different conversation, but these are, if you also think about the swords, they're sharp and he's holding on to them with bare hands. So this card can be very self-destructive, self-sabotaging. Okay, anyone who's doing it. But we've got it upside down in the center. So let's move over here and see a little bit. I'm gonna actually pull another card on it. So we have the strength card. This is a Leo card. You know, what's on the other side of withholding information, right? The opposite of that is going to be communicating about the information. And what's on the other side of being brave enough to communicate what it is that you're currently not communicating is strength. Just that, that those actions just within themselves, it, it creates, it creates strength because it's a, it, it's illuminating the truth. It's acknowledging the truth and it's allowing the truth just to stand on its own. We like to hide, we like to hide it and cover up and make excuses and lie to ourselves or not listening to the truth and all, you know, all of that stuff, we all do it. And the thing about the truth is that if you just let the truth out and you just let the truth be what it is, then everything can react to the truth because the truth is the truth anyway so i can go on about that subject because it's but i'm just going to say that about that for right now so going into the future so what the future looks like in my readings are 
this is the way the energy is moving based on the decisions that you've made, based on the energy that you're in, that you're vibrating, um, choices that you like have made, are making, that's what this future is. And so any other decisions that you make regarding any of this can change the outcome. Um, I do believe that we have uh, specific people to meet, lessons to learn, things like that. But all that stuff is so big and it's going to happen anyway, regardless of the particulars of situations. Um, so most of the time these things can change. And then sometimes if it really is like a big lesson coming or like I said, something that's going to happen either way, we can see that in the future. And so um, why I talk about it like this is that knowing the things that are leading up to what the future outcome, how it's being shown or what's coming in in the future. A lot of times when we see this, it hasn't happened yet, then we have the opportunity to make decisions around this. Do we want to make sure that this does happen or do we want to change our behavior? Or sometimes also it's like a warning and your guides, all of our guides are never giving us warnings that we that we can't handle um it's if you ever are getting like negative information out of a reading or something like that it's because it's for your greater good to know so it's not because i'm seeing any of that negative stuff here but that's just a little fyi all right so we have the king the knight of pentacles the king of pentacles King of Swords reversed. So, definitely, definitely some male energy going on here. Let me look at this for a second. I'd be interested to know who this reading is for. Um, you know, how you feel about this, if this is like for you. I would love to hear about, I'd love to hear from you if this is for you. So, if you, If you are an earth sign, if you are Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, if you are building your business, this could be about you. So all of the th things that we've talked about apply and what is needing to happen for you is that you need to release the self-sabotaging behavior and you need to, you know, it's a full moon. Full moons are really good times for just being honest because the, it's almost like the energy is just ripe for that. The, the idea of the illumination that is going on in the sky with the moon. It's a good time for the things that have been dark to have the light shown on them and to be illuminated. Um, so if this is you, if you're this earth sign, I, I could say that you, um, the suggestion for you is to be clear about your truths and that you, the focus then for you is moving forward with your business. There is someone that you are going to be moving away from and this is someone who is out of integrity because this is upside down someone who is not being forthcoming and not being truthful that happens too right we can create that like if we're not being honest then the energy of dishonesty is around and so we can be dealing with somebody else that's not being very honest um it looks here like there is someone that you are moving away from someone who 
um, you know, maybe is the money in the project that you're working on. Maybe is the one that like provides you with money. Maybe is, you know, some person who um, owns the property, like is the boss. So there is someone that is uh, a stationary person in the situation, um, right, earthy person providing, holding court, holding space. Um, and this is someone that you're dealing with. And this is this truth that needs to be revealed is going to change the direction for you. Um, letting go of the past, stepping forward, forward into the future. This is a great time. This is Aries. This is the beginning of the astrological season. We are in fire. We are in the initiation time of fire. Aries is the beginning. Um, and so it all looks good. It all looks good for you. Things are good for you. Things are balanced for you. Um, you've been given an opportunity for more. You're going to put the truth out on the table. This is going to cause you to become stronger and you to let go of your past and look forward into your future. We're talking about this rebirth. And then, so this is you on your horse getting, receiving what it is that you need now to be on your own path, be creating your business. Um, you know, and there's someone else that you are separating from, kind of leaving, <clears throat> leaving <clears throat> that behind. Um, and so I would like to empower you to be brave, trust the universe, trust the process, trust your own path and trust that you can do it. Um, you know, in the alternative message for these, um, it's just going to be a little bit similar. It's going to be, um, things have been looking really good for you all the same, but you're dealing with someone who is being dishonest still all kind of here. You're dealing with someone else that's keeping information from you and um, it looks like it just looks like it's time for you to say I've had enough. These are my requirements. This is what my truth is and then I'm moving forward. Because either way you're still moving away from this guy. So we have this person here, they could be your boss, they could be your dad, they could be your husband, they could be your boyfriend. This is just a uh, very present, very prominent male energy. And this, this is someone who has the money. And this is someone, so they're showing this person as like king energy, but this one's upside down. And anytime we see a king upside down, it shows, it gives us a little insight into their behavior and kings upside down are going to be out of integrity and this guy always tells the truth that's his thing but if he's upside down he's not he's withholding information so we have this card and we have this card that energy of withholding information and not being out with the truth is present so you got to take responsibility for your part in this. Are you participating in this also? Or do you need to be honest with yourself that you're dealing with someone else that is being dishonest and you need to just call it out? And sometimes the best way to do this is to come at these kinds of conversations with this is my truth and this is what I need for me. And these things are not in alignment for what it is that I need and take responsibility for your future and journey on. So anyway, I hope this helps. If you would like to have a personal reading, all of my information is below the video. You can find me at jamieblack.com. I do 45 and 90 minute sessions and I would love to read for you. And I hope you have an awesome week and I'll see you next Monday.